Hey everyone, I'm Anish and welcome back to Prefusion. I'm back with another job notification update. This time Indian Army has come up with a job notification like it is uh, like there are all all engineering streams are uh, valid like most of the engineering streams are valid and the vacancies are huge. So do watch the video completely to get all the details about the uh, how many vacancies are there like what will be the selection pro procedure and like how is the pay and what post are you eligible for. So applications are invited for eligible unmarried male and unmarried female. So I hope most of you guys who are watching are unmarried. So it is only applicable for unmarried people. What is the age limit? Age limit for like the technical post is uh, 20 to 27 years. So if you are between 20 to 27 years before before this first October. So before this first October, if you are if your age is less than 27 and if your age is more than 20, uh, 20 years, then you are eligible. If you are born between these and these two dates, then you are eligible okay so this is the uh, first uh, criteria and what are the education qualification you need the education qualification you need is that candidates who have passed the requisite engineering degree course or are in the final year of the engineering degree course are eligible so in the vacancies they will give you whichever streams are eligible and if you're even if you're in the final year then also you're eligible but uh, if you are in the final year then you ha must have to produce all your degrees or your grade cards before the 1st October of 2024. If you are able to produce all this, uh, your final year grade card and mark sheets before 1st October, then you are eligible, else you will you will, you will be uh, deemed as not eligible, okay? So you, you must have to provide all these things. Also, uh, you have to pro produce your engineering degree certificate within 12 weeks from the date of commencement of the training at the uh, pre-commissioning training academy, PCTA. So after like uh, what will happen, they will select you, then there will be training. So after the start of training, within 12 weeks of the start of training, you have to produce your final engineering degree, else you will not be, uh, they will kick you out, okay? So uh, be careful about that. Here they have again mentioned all the final year students who whose final year or final semester exam will be scheduled after 1st October are not eligible. So if your final year uh, exam or final semester exam is being scheduled after 1st October, then you are not eligible. So keep that in mind. Okay. So this is just read through this. You will understand here for con induction to pre commission training academy after final selection, the minimum education qualification is passing the B.B.Tech degree in the in uh, in the engineering streams, the, the engineering streams I will tell, but you have to pass the B.B.Tech degree. But to become eligible for this course, you have to have a minimum threshold uh, number. Also, the selection proce procedure is according to the number itself of your uh, B.B.Tech marks. Okay, there will won't be any attendance. They will shortlist according to your numbers. Then there will be some interview. We'll talk about the interview later on. So this is the first thing. And yeah, you just read all through this. So next is final semester slash year studying candidates will be provisionally allowed to appear in the this uh, selection process subject to the fol following condition your cumulative percentage of marks uh, slash uh, like uh, before six semester third year up to eight semester for b arc and for this for b tech and this is for msc should be should be above the approved cutoff so they will give you some cutoff so that should be above the cutoff so let's say you are at uh, final year right now haven't even got the your final grade card like final examination haven't occurred so uh, your six sem marks up until community marks cumulative marks until the six sem should be equal to the cutoff should be more than the cutoff if it is less than the cutoff then you are not eligible so we keep that in mind and after the declaration of final results the community marks up to the final semester or your degree of your final year of your degree course should be equal to the cutoff or more than the cutoff. If your community marks become less than the cutoff, then again, you become ineligible. Then again, they will kick you out. Okay. So this is the one thing that you need to note. Also, you should not have any backlog at the time of submission of the application. So you shouldn't have any backlog. Okay. This is one more thing. And who like who uh, like this is for the widows who they, they, they can also apply now what are the, what were the vacancies so the vacancies is from civil core civil engineering stream these are the engineering stream listed in uh, their uh, their uh, notification and these are the people who can apply like if you belong to any of these streams you can apply this is for men okay and 75 vacancies are there for civil okay huge number of vacancies then for computer science for computer science these are the few streams uh, like which they have told and these are the AICT approved seam equ equivalent stream. So if you belong to any of this stream, any of this stream, you are eligible here. 60 vacancies are there. Same similarly for electrical. These are the streams. Okay. These are the eligible streams and 33 vacancies are there. So it's a very good chance. This is for the electronics people. 
these are the streams that are eligible and 64 vacancies are there this is for the uh, this is for men this is for the men and uh, this for mechanical mechanical has huge number of uh, vacancies 101 so these are the particular streams that are eligible okay now for other engineering streams these are the few other engineering streams that are uh, not mentioned those were the core engineering streams these are the other engineering streams so here also there are 17 vacancies okay you can check which streams are eligible now this is for the women post that was for the men post this is for the women post okay for women post there are like it's for civil again the same streams are eligible and you have seven vacancies computer science four vacancies you can check this uh, streams same as electrical electronics and mechanical these are streams and other streams are also there but other streams are okay other streams are not here okay so now like if, if uh, for videos of defense personnel they can also apply for this post if you have any be b tech from any stream okay they are also eligible now uh, like these are the things you have to note like what uh, things you have to uh, like submit and stuff they have to, uh, told you here just uh, check the documents here uh, now one thing i want to mention that after your selection i will talk about the selection process later after your selection there will be detailed training at officers training Ac academy so duration of the training will be 49 weeks and uh, the location will be chennai the training will be at chennai now candidates will neither be allowed to marry during the period of training nor he or she will be allowed to live with the with parents slash guardians so you are not allowed to marry or you are not allowed to live with your parents or guardians during the training period so just keep this in mind so candidate candidates must not marry until they complete the full training so you have to complete the full training then only you can marry like uh, they have some this rule uh, like this okay so yeah if they marry obviously they will be discharged okay so these things are there also uh, training will be totally at the government's expense you don't have to uh, bear any expense government will totally bear the expense all candidates who successfully complete the pre-commission training at the officers training academy chennai will be awarded a uh, postgraduate di diploma in defense management and strategy study so you will be awarded a diploma okay these are the things okay and like uh, if they think that you are not uh, you are not okay with the training or you are not doing well so they may terminate your training also okay that may also happen that is totally up to them now for which post are you guys eligible so uh, lieutenant captain major uh, um, all these posts right all these very like high post ranks you are eligible so uh, you can apply for all this and these are based on the uh, like few criteria what is the criteria one is on commission one completion of two years uh, on completion of six years so these are all like time based you can easily get promoted right easily get promoted on this and the pay is also uh, good for this this is level 10 and then it keeps on increasing keeps on increasing level 10 b level 11 level 12 all this keeps on increasing so pay is also good also you get other allowances like military service pay which is 15.5 thousand per month then fixed stipend when you are uh, training there you will get fixed stipend of 56,100. that is on the level 10 pay basis level 10 pay basis okay so then uh, like there are other allowances also like para reserve allowance technical allowance all those things so you will get these are also other allowances like if you travel through flight or if you travel through train or all those things you will get other allowances here okay so you get lot of lot of allowances uniform allowances also there 20,000 per year then there is uh, transport allowance okay you check all these things and general education allowance all all the allowance you check and also you get some insurance fund fund according to army and now how to apply how to apply how to apply is you go to their website you go to their website join indian army nic.in i will put the link in the description also you can join our telegram group for further discussion and you log click on the officer entry app uh, app in login then click on the registration so you have to registration you have to register basically there yeah. and just follow the instruction here and you will understand okay so yeah these are a few things they, they have told you just read the instruction now what is the selection procedure the selection procedure is basically on a fixed cutoff marks of your uh, particular discipline so different discipline will have different uh, fixed cutoff marks that they will provide indian army will provide and uh, if your marks is more than the cutoff you are selected else you are not selected now after getting selected what will happen after getting selected there will be center allotment okay uh, you will have to you will be interviewed at one of the selection centers that is Allahabad, bhopal bangaluru uh, jalandhar by a psychologist the, the total uh, like interview stage will be of two stages and it will be of total five days five days okay interview will, will be of five days you can check all the details in their website check all the details of how the test will be what uh, will be asked in the test you can check all this on their website okay 
then if you pass the test then obviously you are eligible then there will be one medical examination also and you can check all the medical standards in the same website itself okay all the traveling allowance all all those things will be carried over by them just check what are the entitlements you get now just uh, uh, that ssb interview does not like uh, confirm the final selection merit list will be prepared based, uh, based on the engineering stream slash subject wise on the basis of marks obtained obtained by the candidate at the ssb interview so uh, what marks you will obtain at the that interview that will uh, uh, they will create a merit list on that and by that you will be selected not solely on the interview okay so this is one thing and these are the important dates so the 23rd of jan is the start date of this application application window is already open so i will recommend you to fill up this one and it will be close on 21st of february okay so yeah if you have any other doubts you can join our telegram group and discuss and thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video